Hey everybody, it's Craig with another Pocket Now Face Off, and today we're featuring the LG Revolution and HTC Thunderbolt for Verizon 4G Supremacy. Oh. All right, let's kick off today's face off between the LG Revolution and HTC Thunderbolt. And again, we're going to run down the specs on both of our contestants. We'll do a boot up and check for available RAM. We're going to run a Quadrant Standard SmartBench and Linpack Pro Android tests. We're going to do our unofficial speed test. We'll have a little gaming exhibition, have our browser comparison, and at the end of this video, you're going to want to stick around. We're going to have attached two samples of 720p video capture from each of today's contestants. So make sure you stick around for that. All right, let's kick this off. LG Revolution weighs in at 172 grams. Offers a 4.3 inch TFT capacitive touch display showing 480 by 800 pixels. Upper right hand corner you've got a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera for video calls. And below the display you have four touch sensitive keys, main menu key, home key, back key, and search key. HTC Thunderbolt weighs in at 164 grams, so definitely the lighter of the two. Offers the same 4.3 inch TFT capacitive touch display, same resolution of 480 by 800. Also has a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera for video calls in the upper right hand corner. Again, four touch sensitive keys below the display, little different order, home key, main menu key, back key, as well as search key. All right, let's talk cameras. Revolution offers a five megapixel camera with autofocus, LED flash, and geotagging. Video capture is 720p. On the Thunderbolt, you've got an eight megapixel camera with autofocus, dual LED flash, geotagging, as well as face detection. Video capture again is 720p. The battery on the LG Revolution, 1500 milliamp hour battery rated at 7 hours and 25 minutes of talk time. HTC Thunderbolt, 1400 milliamp hour battery rated at 6 hours and 30 minutes of talk time. All right, let's talk a little bit about the memory on both of these. The Revolution comes with 16 gigabytes of internal storage. Also comes with a 16 gigabyte micro SD card inserted into the slot, which is nice, and offers 512 megabytes of RAM. HTC Thunderbolt comes with 8 gigabytes of internal storage, a 32 gigabyte installed, pre-installed micro SD card, and 768 megabytes of RAM. Both phones offer Wi-Fi, 802.11 BGNN, support for DLNA and HDMI. LG Revolution offers Bluetooth version 3.0, while the Thunderbolt offers Bluetooth version 2.1. They both run on Qualcomm's MSM 8655 1 gigahertz Snapdragon processor, and they both offer Google's Android 2.2 Froyo, as our operating system. Let's fire up both of our contenders and check for available RAM and after boot. And the LG is on its way and so is the Thunderbolt. All right, the revolution looks to be coming alive. And here comes the Thunderbolt. All righty. All right, we've got that. We'll let that settle down for a minute. All right. Looks like on the LG Revolution, there is about 220, 230 megabytes of available RAM. And we'll let the Thunderbolt settle down for a minute. Thunderbolt looks like it's going to offer somewhere around 250 mega, excuse me, 450 megabytes of available RAM. So you've got 230 versus 430 megabytes of available RAM between the Revolution and HTC Thunderbolt. First up, we're going to run the Quadrant Center benchmark test. Got a good clean start. All right, let's check our results. 
And on the Revolution, 1941 is the benchmark score. And on the Thunderbolt, tilt that, make sure I got it right, 1724. So our benchmark winner is the LG Revolution. Next up, we'll run the Smart Bench test. And it looks like we get a clean start again on both. All right, let's check our scores for the Smart Bench test. And we have a winner in the LG Revolution, both in the Productivity Index as well as the Games Index. So both CPU and GPU on the uh, Productivity Index, 1283 versus 1088. And on the Games Index, 1331 versus 1278. Up to this point, it's been all LG Revolution. Let's run the Limpack Pro for Android test on both. And we have our results. And again, the LG Revolution, Mega Flops 37.16 and 2.26 seconds. On the HTC Thunderbolt, 34.742 Mega Flops and 2.41 seconds. So it looks like our overall winner as far as our Quadrant Standard, Smart Bench, and Limpack protests are the is the LG Revolution. I think it's time for our unofficial speed test. I've got advanced task killer loaded on both. Let's go back in and close all the background tasks on both. We'll head back to the home screen. Try and launch these as close as I can. Calendar, that looked as if it was the uh, LG Revolution. Try maps. That was the Thunderbolt. That looked to be the Thunderbolt as well. That looked to be the Thunderbolt. Let's try people on both or contacts. That was definitely the Thunderbolt. Let's try messaging. That was the Thunderbolt as well. We have different markets, so for some reason it hasn't updated on one. Let's try the phone on both. That was definitely the Thunderbolt. Let's try third party movies. Definitely the Thunderbolt. So while the LG Revolution won all of our tests, in our unofficial speed test, and I know it's, again, unofficial, uh, there go the title, uh, the uh, HTC Thunderbolt seemed to outperform the LG Revolution. I've downloaded Raging Thunder 2 on both the Revolution and Thunderbolt, and we're going to kick these off at the same time, check for load times, and then I'll run a lap on each. We'll start with the... Revolution. All right, now let's take a look at the Thunderbolt. Well, that was interesting. I got pushed right through the brick wall. All right, there's a look at a little gaming on our two contestants. All right, it's time to wrap up today's Pocket Now face off for Verizon 4G domination between the LG Revolution and HTC Thunderbolt with our browser comparison. Don't forget the 720p video comparison follows directly after this, so hang out and wait for that. All right, I've got both running off the same Wi Fi network. I've got the cache and history cleared on both. I've got Plugins enabled on demand, and they've both been updated to Adobe Flash 10.3, which probably we won't see used, but it's been done, so I wanted to make sure you knew about it. Go to bookmarks. Let me see, we head over to Engadget to kick this off, and we're off. And they're both quick out of the chute. Looks like the revolution might be just a little bit ahead. Here comes the Thunderbolt. Now it's the Thunderbolt Revolution. The winner is going to be Thunderbolt. Both of them, no problem loading the entire page on either one. 
the Revolution definitely looks and feels a bit smoother in handling the page. Zoom in for both, double tap, pinch to zoom. Both very responsive. One thing that's nice on the Thunderbolt, when you pinch to zoom, it dynamically reformats the text to fit the display. It's not that it's a big deal. You simply have to double tap on the Revolution to get it to rewrap the text to fit the display. Both of them handle it very well, but the Thunderbolt does feel a little bit smoother. And I saw that one ad there. I'm relatively certain I've got enable plugins to set to on demand on both. Yep, just to make sure. All right, let's head on over to Pocket Now on both. Get our bookmarks here. And we're off. One of our first heat was the Thunderbolt. Again, it looks like the Thunderbolt's going to be our winner here as well. And again, now it's the time to load the ads on the right hand side of the page. Now you know why I didn't enable flash because this would have taken even longer for this to happen. Looks like the Thunderbolt's going to take it eventually. Maybe not. Maybe not. Thunderbolt was first. Any issues? Nope. Full page is there. Definitely not as smooth as Engadget. And still waiting on. Here comes the Revolution. Revolution is done. And again, it's got it all, but definitely not as smooth. Double tap to zoom in. And you can see that we're taxing these guys a bit with Pocket Now's full sight. Come on back. There we go. All right, let's go and take a look at the article itself on both, which I think will be a bit easier for them to handle. And the winner getting here, I gave the uh, Revolution a head start. We'll see if it ends up that way. And again, they've got to now load the right-hand side of the page. Huh? Getting it. And we're simply waiting for him to finish loading the right-hand side of the page. And the revolution was first, followed by and still working on is the Thunderbolt. And you can see that this is a lot of work for both of them. And there we go. And again, pinch the zoom. They've got their brains working now. No more issues. Both of them handled everything pretty well. I would have to say, for the most part, except for the one time, the Thunderbolt was a little bit smoother. Uh, the Revolution, though, I think loaded pages. I think loaded more pages quicker than the um, Thunderbolt, but you might have to uh, be the judge of that for yourself because I don't remember, believe it or not, after just doing this. Uh, anyway, this is uh, Craig for Pocket Now. I hope that's been helpful, and don't forget to hang out for our video comparison. Take care.